in the name of Almighty Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. As Muhammad peace be upon him narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is a Dr. Tainsu. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make the channel a grand success. We are a family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Today I'm going to discuss my lecture number three on Fluda's cathartic cracking, lecture number six, normal operation and shutdown and startup procedure. Okay, before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Arabi Shrali Sadri Wajas Sarli Amri Wahalal Uklatam Milchari Yaf Kam Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Zidin Ilma. O my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me, and I lose an art from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Zidin Ilma, O Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay, flew. Cataractic cracking, latch number six, normal operation. Okay, key takeaway point from latch number six. We have already discussed our process control guidelines, reactor and regenerator heat balance. Today, we are going to discuss conversion, gasoline selectivity, C3 and C4 recovery, off spec handling, slope handling, set point list for main process control parameters. Heat balance, reactor regenerator, heat balance. The heat consumed in the reactor is supplied by the hot cutter circulated to the riser. At steady state, the heat consumed in the reactor must balance the heat produced in the regenerator. The reactor heat is based on the per kg of fresh feed basis while that of the regenerator is on a per kg of coke basis. These two can be equated using the raw oil to a coke weight fractions to determine the heat of the reaction. Okay, first, H regenerator. Times by kg coke per kg raw oil is equal to H reactor. How much heat produced by the reactor? Okay, 5,884 kilocalorie per kg coke times by 11,424 kg per hour a coke divided by 187,299 kg per hour a raw oil. So equal to 292 kilocalorie per kg raw oil plus delta heat of reaction. Okay. The delta heat of reaction is equal to 67 kilocalorie per kg raw oil. Okay. Furthermore, we are going to discuss UOPK factor from API and angular distribution. First, the data. The specific gravity is 0.8654. And ASTM distillations, the volume percentage 10, 30, 50, 70, and 90. So it's equal to 660 degree F, 781, 887, 1015, and 1075 degree of Faraday. Step 1. Calculate the average boiling point VABP. So VABP basically over here these value are added up here. So we have calculated VABP the average boiling point. We have a five figures 660 plus 781 plus 887 plus 1015 and 1075 daily Fahrenheit divided by 5. So this the average web we got 778.4. Okay. And my next step at the angular slope. To calculate angular slope, this is my final value, number fifth, and this is the first value. So the the first and the final value the 1075 minus 660 degree divided by 80 is equal to 4.525 that is my slope value. Okay, 
Step three, calculate the cubic average boiling point. Okay, cubic average boiling point is equal to VABP as we have calculated my last slide times by A plus B is equal to 770.2. Okay, where A is equal to a point a 0, 0, 0, 0.000297 a constant factor times by slope plus a point zero zero one four three that is another constant factor times by slope plus one. Okay, so the A is equal to 1.01259, B is equal to minus a point five eight times by slope minus one point three three nine times by slope. So the B equal to 17.9553. Okay, so this for calculate UPK, UPK is equal to cap P plus a 459, a 0.69. So the divided by specific gravity is equal to 12.38. So the UPK factor we have calculated as a 12.38. Equations can be used to calculate the enthalpies for the feed and the recycle scheme on FCC unit. Liquid enthalpies equations the A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5, these have been calculated by specific gravity, UPK factor, and numerous, numerous constant factors. So, enthalpy of the liquid feed at riser inlet condition is equal to H is equal to A3, that is, have been calculated in the above stream times by Te that is combined feed temperatures minus 259.67 plus A4 times by combined feed temperatures a Te power 2 minus 259.67 a power 2 plus A5 times by Te the combined feed temperatures a power 3 minus 259.67 power a 3 divided by 1.8 Okay, whereas the Te is equal to combined of feed temperatures and R is equal to 1.8 a Te plus a 491 a 0.67. Okay, as we have discussed in my earlier slide, enthalpy of liquid feed at riser inlet condition. Okay, heat in is equal to A3, heat out will discuss in my next slide. Heat in is equal to A3 times by Te, Te combined of feed temperature. So the Te minus 259.67 plus A4 plus Te power 2 minus 259.67 power 2 plus A5 times by Te power 3 minus 259.67 power 3 divided by 1.7. Okay. The T combined feed temperature R degree is equal to 1.8 T combined temperatures plus 491 a 0.67 that is R Arecan degree Arecan. So the formula for the H heat in adopted from English students thus requires R Arecan temperatures. SG special gravity is a fresh feed a special gravity at 15 a 0.6 degree Celsius. UOP fresh feed UOPK factors and heat in fresh feed enthalpy kilocalorie per kg. This equation source is APA procedure 4.7 of B4. Vapor enthalpies equations are F1, F2, F3. We have calculated it by using UPK factors and specific gravity and other uh, constant factors. Okay. On my next slide, we will discuss heat out. We have discussed in earlier slide enthalpy of heavy petroleum fractions heat in. Now we are going to discuss enthalpy of heavy petroleum fractions heat out. Enthalpy of feed is a fully vaporized condition. Heat out is equal to F1 times by T2 minus F2 times by T plus F3 divided by 1.8. Where T is equal to reactor temperatures, F is equal to 1.8 degrees Celsius plus 32. So the H out is equal to vapors enthalpy kilocalorie per kg. This equation is a curve of it from UPPD chart. Okay, on my next slide, we are going to discuss conversion. Conversion is defined as the volume percentage of raw oil converted to gasoline and lighter components. Okay, we are going to discuss on my next slide. Conversion is defined as the volume percentage of raw oil converted to gasoline and lighter component. 
This is calculated conversion volume percentage. This is equal to phi minus LCO minus MCB main column bottom clarified all a time to 100 divided by phi. This conversion is called as a produced or apparent conversion because it's not corrected for cut points. The corrected or true conversion is calculated using the same equation after the gasoline and LCO yields are corrected for cut points. One method for adjusting the yield is the 90% or plus 10% method. This method uses the ASTM distillations of the liquid products to create a composite curve and correct the yield to any specified 90% temperature. On my next slide, we will discuss the procedure. Using the ASTM distillations and state line interpretations equations calculate the LB percentage distilled every 10 degrees C for all the product steams as we have given the equations the percentage x is equal to Tx minus Ta, Tb minus Ta and then Ta is equal and greater than Tx and Tx is equal to and greater than Tb. Number two, calculate the composite volume and percent every 10 degrees C using the following equations cumulative meter cube per hour at Tx is equal to meter cube per hour is equal to percentage gasoline meter cube per hour gasoline plus percentage LCO meter cube per hour LCO plus M MCB MCB cumulative LV tax Tx is equal to 100 meter cube per hour that is total meter cube per hour being generated that is calculated the composite volume and the percentage every 10 degree Celsius. Okay. Number three, calculate corrected gasoline 90% at 380 degree F, 193 degree C or specified 90% temperatures. Corrected gasoline is equal to composite a yield 190 degree Celsius divided by 0.9. Number four, calculate corrected LCO 90% at 600 degree F or 316 or specified 90% temperatures. Corrected LCO composite yield 316 degree C, corrected gasoline divided by 0.9. Number five, calculate correct MCB by difference, main column bottom, corrected MCB is equal to total liquid yield minus corrected gasoline minus corrected LC. The gasoline selectivity is the corrected gasoline yield divided by the true conversion gasoline selectivity is equal to corrected gasoline yield times by 100 divided by true conversion that is called the gasoline selectivity. C3 and C4 recovery indicate how the gas concentration is performing. C3 recovery is calculated as C3 recovery volume percentage is equal to C3 in LPG times by 100 divided by C3 in LPG plus C3 in fuel gas. Okay, C4 recovery is calculated as C4 recovery volume percentage of C4 in LPG times by 100 divided by C4 in LPG plus C4 in fuel gas plus C4 in gasoline. Okay, on my next slide, we are going to conclude uh, uh, in our slide. The unit is provided with separate closed underground system to collect heavy hydrocarbon XH from the main column bottom system, lighter hydrocarbon is XL and amine slopes AP from the low point drains and to route the material to the respective drain drums that could be a 4160, 4161 or 4150. Okay. Okay, set point list for the main process controllers. The first case one and case two, the first combustors so the temperature should maintain a 716 degree celsius reactor vapors a 529 regenerator reactor differential pressures 0.48 regenerator pressures of 1.86 and raw oil from heater 204 degree celsius on stage two mc main column overhead vapor temperature 113 Wet gas compressor suction of pressure 0.63 bar G, heavy naphtha product a meter cube per hour 33.3, LCO light cyclocard product a meter cube per hour 43.6.
the debotanizers are pressure must be maintained 10.8 debotanizer are trade on temperature 92 degrees celsius naphtha splitter 0.85 bar pressures naphtha splitter overhead of vapors 111 degrees celsius okay today we have discussed upk factors convergence gasoline selectivity c3 c4 recovery slope handling and last we have also the set point list for the main process controls next topic we are going to discuss shutdown procedure of FCC unit these are a few references This is my last slide to gather everyone achieve more. Please don't hesitate to send me your feedback comments t.msu.dr at bath.edu. You can also send me WhatsApp. Thank you very much for your precious time. Thank you very much and stay blessed.